Your Deputy Commander reporting, Mr. Class President. Sir, <laughs> it's imperative we arrive early. This is my first day as official power behind your presidency. I don't know how official the job is. With your election win fresh and the people on your side, now is the time to strike. Strike what? With the principal's office. That's where the real power lies. Oh, we are not doing that. You don't want real power. I have all the power I need. We'll need to do a lot more cleaning over there. And over there. And over there. Leonardo and I will help after school. It's only fair. Yes, it is only fair that you help out. We are all owners. Plus, you can't keep ducking the cleaning. I believe I can keep ducking it. I accept your challenge. <laughs> it wasn't a duh. Ready to scrub? No. Me neither. Are you willing to protect the president in any situation, no matter what the danger, and also his deputy, i.e. me? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Well, I'm interviewing candidates for your security detail. Why do I need security detail? <laughs> to stop the baddies. Baddies? People who are trying to take over your presidency. You stop the baddies or the baddies stop you. That's how it works in Zatabia. Well, that's not how it works on Earth. People just want me to do the things they voted for. Better food options in a canteen and more recycling. Very well. <clears throat> there will be no security detail. The fee of $200,000 will be paid to no one. $200,000? Where were you going to get that? Well, from taxes, of course. Class president doesn't tax the students. <laughs> Then how am I going to afford an extravagant lifestyle? You're not. Anyways, I'm off to talk to the canteen lady about healthy food options. Let's go. It's starting to look like an actual establishment. But I can't help but feel like something's missing. I know what's missing! Everything! Everything is missing! Once we get some furniture in, it'll start to look more like a cafe. But what sort of furniture? Something a little formal. Throne! A little more casual. Beds! A little less casual. And start to arrange them like this! And this! This. Plus! Tables, brilliant! A sea of chairs and tables as far as the eye can see. Or maybe just to the door. That's true. <sighs> Whoa! <laughs> the gall of that canteen lady making suggestion after suggestion. She's eyeing your job, Mr. President. Mrs. Khan is like 85 years old. She's not trying to be class president. And she was just suggesting some healthy foods. Yeah, we all know where suggestions like that can lead. Don't say she's a baddie. Very well, exalted one. I'm not exalted. I'm just a class president trying to do what he promised. And I'm sorry, but you're not helping. <laughs> not helping? You got me banned. From the canteen, Mrs. Khan threw us out by the scruff of our necks. Her vice-like grip was quite a surprise. <laughs> Leonardo, I'm sorry. I know you mean well, but I don't need a deputy commander. Did I just get fired? I'm sorry I misunderstood my job description. I promise not to treat you in an exalted manner. It's okay. So I still have my job? Sure. Now I have to go make things right with Mrs. Khan. You should probably leave this to me. Then what should I be doing? Well, you can work on my other policy. Come up with some ideas for the recycling program. Recycling? That is how we stop pollution. It's one way. Then that is what I'll do. I'll use my Zetabian technical smartness. Did you know our toilets ask us how strong of a flush we want? Do you speak to your toilets? Not usually. Just come up with some ideas and we'll talk later. 
Never fear, Leonardo and his technical smartness are on the job. <laughs> that is terrific! The first of our new furniture should be here by this afternoon. But Raffles, how can we afford it? I've sold off some of my sandal collection. <gasps> oh no! 4,000 pairs that I will never get to wear. Having only two feet can be such a terrible burden. <sighs> but the new furniture should be here by the time the boys get home from school. <laughs> I can't wait to see their faces. <laughs> all right, we're all set. Mrs. Khan is on board. There'll be more veggie and food options and less emphasis on fried food. Let's go home. Good work, Mr. President. Oh, and how's the progress on recycling? Did you get started? Recycling? Ah, that. Yes, I solved pollution. You what? I solved it. There'll be no more pollution in this school. Come on, check it out. Greetings, fellow students. I'm sure you all recognize me as Leonardo, school deputy commander, and kid you most want to be. Pollution is a problem for all of us, which is why President Zachary has asked me to do something about it. So, if I catch anyone polluting, well, I have a certain skill set. I will find you, and I will deal with you in the school car park. This is a warning. All hail President Zachary! Are you threatening to beat people up if you find them polluting? No! I said, meet me in the car park. I thought we could discuss safe garbage disposal while watching vehicles being reversed. That's not what it sounded like. It sounded like you're threatening them. People don't like that. But it's threatening them to stop polluting. That's the good kind of threatening, isn't it? <laughs> oh, what am I going to do? First, take down the post. Then, say that everything you said in it was a joke. Luckily, most of the students don't take you seriously anyway. Oh, really? It seems someone named Large Carl does. He left a comment. <laughs> he says he wants to meet me in the car park and that he has a certain skill set of his own. This is what happens when you threaten people. But I don't want to meet anyone in the car park, especially someone named Large Carl. How do we fix this? I told you, take down the post. Well, but before I do that, perhaps I could anonymously send Large Carl a large tongue lashing about destroying the planet. <laughs> right. Enough of the threatening. <laughs> Done. Pollution is a very difficult problem. Trying to solve it is a good policy, Mr. President. Yes, it is, Mr. Deputy Commander. But if threats don't work, what will? Good question, and we need a good answer. Yes. Sorry, we're late. <gasps> What's this? Oh, nothing, just a sample of the cafe's newest furniture. <laughs> <laughs> imagine the whole cafe decked out in these. It's hard to imagine. Leonardo, what do you think? I believe there's an earth word that sums it up. Oh, what is it? Ah, yes, yuck. <gasps> but yuck means awful. Well, actually, it means very awful. <gasps> Zachary, what do you think? Mr. Ong, Nila, I know you must have given this a lot of thought, but yuck. <gasps> oh, 